Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the different organ systems of a plant. Plants consist of two organ systems, shoot system and root system. Shoot system is an ascending portion of the plant. It means it grows upward and above the ground. It consists of stem, leaf, fruit and flowers. Whereas the root system is the descending portion of the plant. It means it grows downward and under the ground. It consists of the primary roots which give rise to the secondary and tertiary roots. First of all, shoot system. Shoot system is an ascending section of a plant. It means it grows upward above the ground. It develops from a plumule, which is the rudimentary first bud of the embryo seed. If we open the mango seed, we can easily see the embryo of a plant because mango seeds are quite large in size. So the embryo has two parts, plumule and the radical. Plumule becomes the future shoot system, whereas the radical becomes future root system of a plant. Shoots are positively phototropic. It means they grow towards the sunlight and they are negatively geotropic. It means they grow against the gravitational force. Now the parts of the shoot system. First is stem. Stem is the vertical axis of a plant that bears shoots with leaves, buds, flowers and fruits. Stem has different parts. First is the apical bud. If you see the picture, apical bud is a growing portion of the apex of a shoot or stem. It bears special type of the tissues called as meristematic tissues, which are capable of producing the vegetative as well as the reproductive organs of a plant. Then come nodes. Nodes bear leaves and branches. Nodes also have the small buds called, called as the axillary buds. You can see the enlarged view of the axillary bud in the picture. And the section between the two nodes is known as the internode. In vascular plants, stem contain vascular tissues inside. And the main function of this vascular tissue is to transport the resources throughout the plant. And that is why this is also called as the plumbing system of a plant. Plants mainly consist of two vascular tissues. First is xylem, which conducts the water and minerals throughout the plant. And second is phloem, that transport the dissolved food material throughout the plant. If we cut the stem of a plant and put it in some dye for a few hours, the vascular tissue take up the dye and becomes visible, as shown in the picture. These orange colored rings in the periphery of uh, the stem are the vascular tissues. You can do this experiment at your homes also. Now functions of a stem. Stem transport the water and minerals. To prove this, we set up an experiment. We kept the stems of the young plant in the blue dye. After few hours, we see that the stems turned blue in color. Why this happened? Because the stems contain the vascular tissues inside which helps in the transport of the water and minerals throughout the plant. Stems provide support to the branches and leaves. It keeps the leaf in sunlight so that the leaves can trap the maximum sunlight for the process of photosynthesis. Stems bear flowers and fruits. And in some cases, stems helps in the storage of nutrients. And these stems are called as modified stems. Examples are potatoes, ginger, and onion. On the basis of stem type, the plants are categorized as herbs, shrubs and trees. Herbs involve the plants which are very short in height. They have tender and soft stem. They bear very few branches and in some cases they are branchless. Examples are tomato and bitter gourd. Whereas shrubs bear the medium heighted plants, they are hard and woody. And most of the herbs have multiple branch system which arises from down below the ground level. Examples are lemon and bougainvillea. Whereas the trees involve the very tall, hard and woody plants and the, their main stem is called as the trunk. It is the trunk from where the many branches arises which bears the leaves, fruits and flowers. Examples are mangoes, gooseberry, guava, etc. The second part of the shoot system is leaf. Leaves are green, flat and thin lateral outgrowths of the plant. Leaves are green in color because of the presence of chlorophyll pigment in them. 
most of the plants are autotropic because they are capable of preparing their own food by themselves through the process of photosynthesis. Now what is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is the conversion of light energy into chemical energy. In the photosynthesis, the sunlight is trapped by the chlorophyll pigment in the leaves and used to convert the carbon dioxide and water into the sugars, mainly glucose. And in this process, the oxygen is released as a byproduct, which is utilized by the animals. Now, structure of a leaf. Most of the leaf consists of the wide, thin, flat leaf blade called as lamina. The edge of the leaf is called as margin and this leaf is attached to the main stem through a stalk called as petiole. In some cases, petiole is absent. Such leaves are called as sessile leaves. Whereas in others, a flap-like structure is present at the base of petiole called as stipule. The function of the stipule is to protect the growing petiole. We can easily see the stipule in uh, the leaves of a rose plant. The leaves also has the midrib which runs through the length of the leaf and the midrib gives rise to the lateral branches of the vascular bundle called as veins. The arrangement of veins on the leaf is called as venation. There are mainly two types of the venations. First is the reticulate venation and another is parallel venation. In reticulate venation, the veins gives the net like appearance and such type of venation is found in the dicot plants. Example is basil, coriander, mango, grapes and marigold. Whereas in parallel venation, the veins runs in a straight line throughout the length of a leaf without converging and such type of venation is found in monogots. Example is corn, bamboo, wheat, banana and grass. Functions of leaf. Leaves helps in the process of photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, the light energy is converted into the chemical energy. And the products synthesized during the photosynthesis are utilized by the plant during various metabolic activities. Leaves helps in regulating the exchange of the gases across its surface through the pores called as stomata. Stomata are guarded by the two kidney shaped guard cells and these guard cells have large vacuoles inside them which helps in regulation of the opening and closing of the stomata. Leaves also helps in the purification of air. It means the leaves absorb the carbon dioxide released by the animals and util utilize it uh, to produce the sugars during the process of photosynthesis. Plants utilize very small amount of water and surplus water is removed. This removal of excess of water from the leaf in the form of vapors through stomata is called as transpiration. To show this, an experiment was set up in which the plant leaves were covered with a polythene bag. After three hours, small droplets were observed on the inner surface of the polythene bag. Now where does this water come from? So this is the water released by the leaves through the stomata by the process of transpiration. This transpiration process helps in the cooling of a plant and its surrounding. And uh, some leaves are also used as food source because they are rich in vitamins and minerals. Examples are leafy vegetables like onion scales, spinach, mustard leaves and fenugreek leaves etc. The third part of the shoot system is flower. The video on the structure and functions of the flower is already uploaded. You can check out the description box for the link. The fourth part of the shoot system is fruit. After fertilization, ovary matures into fruit and its ovule becomes seed. Fruit has two layers, pericarp and endocarp. Pericarp consists of exocarp, which is the peel of the fruit and mesocarp is the middle fleshy layer of the fruit. After ripening of the fruit, mesocarp becomes quite juicy and sweet. The innermost layer is the endocarp uh, which protects the seed from the outer environment. In some fruits, it is stony in nature, means it's quite hard in nature. Examples are cherry, peach and mango. 
and in other fruits it is membranous in nature example is apple and peas etc now functions of fruit fruits protect the seed or embryonic plant against outer environment fruits are fleshy juicy colorful and have specific taste that is why most of the fruits are edible because they are rich in vitamins and minerals the second organ system of a plant is the root system Roots are the descending portion of the plant axis. It means they grow downwards. And radical is a part of seed that comes out first during the seed germination. This is also called as the first root of a plant. It elongates to give the primary root that further gives rise the secondary and the tertiary roots. You can see the emerging radical in the picture. Roots lack nodes and internodes unlike stem. Roots have root cap at the tip. which protect them from injury during growth and the root caps also protect the specialized tissue called apical meristem at its apex as you can see in the picture and the section of the root just below the root cap is called as the region of maturation and this region has numerous hair like epidermal prolongations called the root hair root hair are made up of highly hygroscopic substances called pectin and cellulose and because of these substances the roots are capable of absorbing the water from the soil during growth old root hairs die and new comes out so that roots remain always in contact with the soil moisture roots are positively geotropic it means they grow in the direction of gravitational force roots are positively hygroscopic it means they uh, are capable of absorbing the moisture from the soil because of presence of highly permeable root hairs in them roots are negatively phototropic it means uh, they grow in darkness away from the sunlight and uh, roots lack chlorophyll that is why they are not green in color although roots of some epiphytes are capable of accumulating chlorophyll because their roots are exposed to the sunlight now types of roots there are two types of roots tap roots and fibrous roots in tap roots the primary root is quite long that gives rise to the later secondary roots they are deep seated that is why they provide the strong anchorage to the plants tap roots are found in dicots means the plants with the two seed leaves examples are tomato chili coriander etc in fibrous root system the primary roots are very short that gives the fiber like roots from its base they are seated superficially just below the ground that is why they provide the weak anchorage to the plant fibrous roots are found in the monocots monocots are the plants with only one seed leaf examples are corn wheat and most of the grasses now the functions of root The main function of root is to anchor the plant into the ground. To prove this, an experiment was set in which seeds were grown on the moist cotton. After one week, it was observed that roots of the new plant get entangled with the cotton fibers, and it becomes very very difficult to pull them out from that meshwork. Roots check the soil erosion by keeping the soil particles together, and by resisting the free flow of water over the surface. roots help in absorption and conduction of water and minerals water is absorbed by the root hair and translocated to the xylem vessel xylem vessel transport this water to every part of the plant here is a picture of an experiment in which plants with and without roots were kept in the water after one week plant without root uh, drop down and become very weak because it could not absorb the enough water to carry out its metabolic activities on the other hand plant with roots was quite healthy because it was getting sufficient amount of water for its growth this experiment shows that how important the roots are for plant in some plants roots help in the storage of food material and they become fleshy examples are beetroot carrot ginger and colocasia So that was all about the basic introduction of various organ systems of a plant. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. 
and if you want the video on the topic of your choice please write in the comment section thanks for watching